feel to uh, get out there, get some reps and all, all that good stuff? I feel great, man. I feel great to just uh, put the helmet on, you know, and just run around with the guys uh, and just kind of get my feet wet again. I feel really awesome. Do you feel uh, real rusty or do you feel better than you thought? Or how, do you, how would you describe it? I know you've stayed I mean, in shape, obviously. Yeah, I've been working out really hard, you know, uh, over the last, what, 10, nine months, whatever it's been. And uh, yeah, rusty as far as uh, going against, you know, somebody else and just having a whole bunch of other people around me. From So from that football standpoint, yeah, but, uh, you know, they the t my teammates been helping me, the D-line been helping me, linebackers, DBs, and, uh, and I'm gonna just do whatever I have to do to get myself up to speed from that standpoint. What do you bring to this team, Dion? Man, the same thing I, I feel like I bring everywhere, man. Just effort, man, just an effort, you know, and just the will to, to want to win, you know, and uh, I know that's what this organization is all about, and uh, I'm just trying to be a part of that. Do you look at this as a, a chance to, like, make up for lost time, or you're just living your life going forward and making the yeah, best Yeah, man, of I'm just worried about today. Yeah. That's the only thing that matters to me, and uh, it's, it's been a, a great opportunity, you know, over the last two days just to be around, you know, these fellas and uh, just get back to football, you know. So mm -hmm. that's the only thing that matters to me is that opportunity to play ball and, uh, and to get to Sunday, you know. So that's the only thing that matters. When Darren Waller came here, he said the thing that really got to him right away was before they even talked football, yeah. they had him with you know support staff and all right, we're going to set up, we're going to keep, we're going to set up a system for you to make sure that everything goes well. Yes. Same same experience for you. Yeah, uh, very much so. You know, um, I've been training here in the Bay Area, so part of the reason why I didn't want to go anywhere else is because I've had that support staff. You know, they only across the Bay Bridge for me. You know, my, I'm from here, so my family's you know all around me. So. That was one of the huge reasons why, why I decided to stay in the Bay Area and play ball. You know, um, I also have a, a lot of other great uh, connections, you know, from people who, who are supporting me, you know, that, that work here for the organization as well. So, yes. Did you have a chance to go anywhere else and that, did you decline that? Yeah, I turned down everything, man. I, I had a chance to speak to uh, Mayock on the phone, you know, and uh, yeah, man. I kind of like slept on it. I had a couple uh, places I was able to go and I just slept on it. It was like, I'm not even gonna waste my time. I'm gonna stay here and uh, do what I can to, to help this team win. Did you have your eyes on this place a little bit even during the last several months? Uh, yeah, of course, man. You know, like I said, I've been here. So I, you get a chance to watch and play, you know, on Sundays and uh, yeah, man, it was just, it just kind of like, it was, it was, it all just fell in place, man. You know, it was all uh, destined. You know, I feel like, you know, every day or every hour since I've been here, I, I'm reminded that I made the right choice. You know, so I'm just very thankful that it happened the way it did. You know, it was no stress on me at all. It's just all football. You know, and there's a lot of people here that helped me uh, just get that part done. You've been watching this team since the beginning of the season, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What's your personal scouting report on this team in general, the defensive line, and you know, yeah, man. A lot of young guys who just know how to go. So I feel like I fit in, fit right in with these dudes, man. That's how I play. I just go, and uh, you know, I, I'm I'm happy that they kept keeping me up to speed from that that perspective. Um, you know, as a, as far as the offense, you know, they've been doing very well on that side of the ball. And yeah, like I said, man, I'm just happy that I'm I found an organization where I kind it kind of fit me, personality wise, and you know, that was it. John Green out there said that they want to help you uh, realize your full potential. What needs to happen for that? Um, they they extended the offer for me to come here. That was it, man. That was it. I feel like the the environment and the people that he set up, you know, around the, around this place, that's proven, you know, that it's that I have that opportunity. So it's just all up to me, man. Like it's like it is with everything else. It's all up to the individual. It's up to me to to go out there and work hard at practice, to dive into the playbook, and uh, to treat people with the respect, and, you know, and and the type of uh, loyalty and love that they deserve. He said that the, the, the thought of you playing right away on Sunday may be a little overly ambitious, but he wouldn't rule it out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm ready to go, man. So, like I said, I'm gonna just do whatever I have to do mentally and physically, uh, and I'm gonna just, you know, put it up to them to, to pull the trigger. But um, I'm gonna just prove it, you know, in the field and in the film room that I'm I'm, I'm doing my best. And after that, the rest fall, fall in place, man.
How much is your relationship with Coach Cable kind of help uh, make this a uh, good decision for you, good fit for you? It was huge, man. It was huge. Uh, my mentor is Coach Cable's mentor. <laughs> so, you know, from that standpoint, I feel like I've been hearing a lot of his messages, you know, not through him, but it's through somebody else who I, who I know. And uh, I had a chance to be with Coach Cable up in uh, Seattle as well. So it played a huge, huge role. You know, it's a great, great individual, man. And uh, yeah, he, he kind of just gave me that nod and like, this is a great place for you to come ball. Do you, do you still feel like expectations have followed you around? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, maybe, but maybe because I put him on myself, I've been able to put myself in a position to where like people, people see those things and see those opportunities. So um, that's just the blessing that my, my Lord and Savior put in front of me, you know, to still be able to play ball, to still compete for great organizations and have great people around me in that process, in my process while I'm here.